What's going on guys? For those of you that don't know, I went to Monday Night Raw back on the 20th, not the last Raw, but the one before. And I meant to make this video last week, but I just didn't get around to doing it. And the gameplay here is a Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules submission match, and right now I'm realizing that I did it in a SmackDown ring. I should have kept it in with the theme of this video and done it in the Raw ring, but I didn't. And I'm CM Punk in this match, my favorite superstar. And I wanted to make this video to just to talk about my experience going to Monday Night Raw. It was the third WWE event that I've been to. I went to a house show back when I was in middle school. And at the time, John Cena was a, a heel. Brock Lesnar was still in the WWE. I remember seeing the big show, Undertaker. But I really don't remember anything from it. And then I didn't watch wrestling for a very long time. And I got back into it really not that long ago when I went to an episode of SmackDown at the Target Center back in July of 2011 and I had a great time at that and so I definitely wanted to come back to the Target Center when they were going to be back in town and they happened to be for the Raw Super Show the night after Elimination Chamber and I was extremely excited for it because one it was Raw and I knew I'd get to see all the superstars that I enjoy watching and and I was excited because they had announced that Undertaker and Triple H were going to be there and so I knew there was going to be a lot of star power and I didn't quite make it in time at 7.15 when everything actually starts, the dark matches and superstars. But once I got into my seat, it was Alex Riley against Michael McGillicuddy for a match on superstars. And when I got there, the crowd was really into the match. They were behind Michael McGillicuddy for most of the match. And I thought it was a really entertaining match, actually. And I had pretty good seats. I was kind of underneath the WrestleMania sign on the lower level about 11 rows back for the basketball seating on the floor or anything and we could pretty much see everything the only thing that's hard to see is the superstars actually talking and so you kind of watched up on the Titan Tron so you can have a better view but it was it's an awesome atmosphere when you go to a WWE event it's so much different than watching it at home and another thing TV kind of does is they make events look like that the people in the far back rows can't even see and that is not the case I've been upper deck at the Metrodome like 22nd row and I can see just fine so I was happy with my seats and then there was another superstars match it was Tyler Rex against Mason Ryan and Tyler Rex won that and then Raw began and it was the backstage segment with Eve and the thing was they must not have had the volume high enough I don't know how to really explain it but this everything was so quiet the backstage segments I wanted to hear John Laurinaitis I love John Laurinaitis and when they had his backstage segment I could not even hear him I mean the volume on everything was so quiet and the one thing that I didn't like was the theme songs were very quiet when I went to SmackDown, they were much louder, and then I was I was hoping that like Triple H's theme song would pretty much rupture my eardrums. It was so loud, and that wasn't the case. So I was kind of disappointed about that. That was my main gripe with the overall experience, because the theme songs they're important to me. I like the entrances, and probably my favorite part about the actual show was actually John Cena's two promos. I enjoyed his promos, and I'm not particularly a John Cena fan. And I don't really hate the guy. I haven't watched a lot of wrestling, so for most of John Cena's Superman run as the top face of the company, I haven't been around for it. I haven't had it shoved down my throat as much as other people have been watching it for longer. And so I can kind of handle Cena. And I really liked him when he was a heel and when he first turned face. So I've always kind of liked John Cena, but CM Punk is my favorite superstar now. And I was disappointed we didn't get to see him really in action until the dark match afterwards. But probably Cena's promo against The Rock was what really turned the crowd because he actually got a lot of the crowd behind him with his second promo on The Rock and I think just a lot of people agreed with what he had to say and I would say that Cena did his job with that promo. He got the crowd kind of behind him and then that introduced kind of Rock coming to the next episode of Raw in Portland. And if you watch the episode on TV, you were probably very confused during the Triple H and Undertaker segment when the what chants were going. And I have no idea why anybody started wanting The Undertaker. I was not a part of those chants. I did a lot of chanting. I did the Hosky chant with everybody, and I did a bunch of other ones, but I was not going to be a part of the ridiculous what chant against The Undertaker. I, I thought that was pretty disrespectful for The Undertaker, and I'm sure he probably hates Minneapolis now because of that. But Triple H did agree to the match against The Undertaker at Wrestlemania, Hell in a Cell, you guys know us, I'm making this video way too late and I'm still sharing results that are old news as of now. But then they also had the 10 man battle royal to face CM Punk at Wrestlemania for the WWE title and I was 100% sure that Chris Jericho would win that match and he did. 
And then during that match, there was the spot with Big Show throwing Dolph Ziggler over the top rope. And I was sure Dolph Ziggler was the one that was injured. He was the one throwing, but it was actually Wade Barrett. And then after Raw, CM Punk went against Dolph Ziggler in a dark match. So then that's when I knew that Dolph Ziggler wasn't the one that was hurt. And it was a decent match, CM Punk won, and the second dark match, people were starting to walk out of the arena, leave their seats, and all of a sudden Kane's pyro hit, and everybody was like, oh, we gotta go back to our seats! And uh, Kane came out, and then he had a match against John Cena. Cena won that match, it was pretty decent, sent the crowd home happy with Cena's victory. Probably the biggest pop of the night went to Santino when he had his match against Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan won that very convincingly, and the matches were really short at that Raw. The other matches were Sheamus against Mark Henry, he won that one, they're building him up as he goes to WrestleMania to take on Daniel Bryan for the World Heavyweight Championship, and there was a tag team match, a non-title with Kofi and R-Truth against Epico and Primo, and I liked the matches, they were just a little too short for me, and then when I saw Super Smackdown the next night, we see CM Punk against Daniel Bryan, the last Raw in Portland, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, I'm like, come on, Vince! I wanted to see that match in person, but I had a great time at Raw. I'll definitely go again when I see it. They're coming to the Target Center, whether it's Raw, SmackDown, or maybe even a pay-per-view. The last pay-per-view they were here for was Bragging Rights in 2010. But I did get to see CM Punk at least in a dark match wrestle, and that's really what I wanted to see. Is CM Punk is my favorite. And that is basically my Raw experience. If you guys have experiences of your own going to WWE events, be sure to share them in the comments section. I do enjoy reading your guys' comments, try to respond to them as much as I can. And I know you guys are probably wondering where WWE Universe Mode is, and I was going to do the live stream a couple weeks ago, but my streaming quality has been pretty poor as of late, and so I'm not sure if I'm going to stream it because I'm kind of picky about the content I put on my channel, and I don't want some really horrible frame rate video on my channel of that pay-per-view, the Royal Rumble one I still have to do, so I'm not sure what the direction is going to be with that, but that's just an update for you guys that are wondering where my Universe Mode is. I might just end up playing a match or two and posting a video and getting back to that series. So guys, Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later.